Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of data communications and networks. In today's class, we are going to see an introduction of transport layer services. Okay. So a transport layer or a network layer are the two most important parts of the OSA model. We already know there are several uh, layers of this particular OSA model where transport layer is the heart of the OSA. Okay. So in the left side, you can clearly see so uh, from the first starting from the physical layer and coming to the last layer, which is nothing but the topmost layer, which is considered as the application layer. Um, these are the seven major uh, OSI uh, layers, which is especially responsible for any computer networks uh, performance or else data communications networks. Okay. So first layer is our physical layer. Second is the data link layer. Third is the network layer. These three layers are the hardware layers. And coming to the fourth one, which can be considered as the mid layer, which is nothing but the transport layer. We will be talking about the transport layer in this topic, which is considered as the heart of OSA. And the remaining layers are session layer, presentation layer, and the application layer. Application layer is the topmost layer where the user will be accessing in the form of graphical user interface, like in web pages, or an app kind of thing, okay? So uh, starting from the session to the application layer, these are considered as our software layers, okay? So among these, the mid layers, the third and fourth layer, whereas network layer and transport layer are considered as the two most important parts of the OSM model, okay? And the transport layer, as I have already said, it is the fourth layer of the OSM model, okay? So it's an end-to-end -end or process-to-process -process communicating layer that is responsible for delivering the entire message. So mostly transport layer is like, it deals the communication between one process of a, uh, one host to the process of the another host, okay? So the communication, suppose an application is running, two mobile phones are used in the two applications or the apps are used for chatting, let us say, okay? And two persons are chatting through the particular application present in that particular phones. Also, what happens now as they are in the chatting process, the messages need to be interchanged or whatever the mobile phone one sends the message, the mobile phone two need to receive in the same application and whatever the mobile phone two receives sends the message that should be received by the mobile phone one. Okay. It should be to and fro process, right? So whatever the app or the application is used for that particular chatting, the process related to, or the execution of the program related to that particular application will be uh, taken care by this particular transport layer. So this will be responsible for uh, processes or the execution of the program happening of that particular application present in that particular host or a smartphone, for example, which are uh, responsible for delivering the entire message, okay? So this particular transport layer also ensures that the communication between process of one host to the process of another host is successfully happening or not, okay? So, and also this transportation layer provides lots of services. So we can also see several uh, services over here, end-to-end -end delivery, that, uh, like uh, once the message has been transmitted, it will be confirming whether that uh, message is re received or not. And from the second other end, if the message is again retransmitted or transmitted to the first host, again, it sees whether the message has been received successfully or not, okay? So it sees whether the transmission of the data is happening correctly or not, and reliability, okay? Reliability also, it checks whether the process is smooth or not, if there are any corrupted files or any loss of files, those things will be looked after all these things. And flow control of the data will be checked if at all there are any errors with respect to this particular uh, data flow and everything, errors will be controlled over there and multiplexing and demultiplexing. So mostly the host will be using multiple applications at a time and they will be doing multiple tasking, right? So multiplexing and demultiplexing also plays an important role at when a single host is uh, uh, doing a communication with respect to multiple processes. 
or multiple applications are running on a single host at a time at that particular time multiplexing will be done and at the receiving end again demultiplexing will be done and based on the port numbers or the segments and again all the data will be uh, splitted to the respective port numbers and will be received by this respective applications or the processes okay all these services will be provided by the transport layer which is one of the important layer of this perfect osi model okay thank you